Have you ever asked yourself how you can take your mid-journey images and make a cinematic short film out of them? In today's video, I will show you a quick and easy way how you can take those images and bring them to life. And by the end of it, you will be able to create a cinematic short like this one in no time with only just three simple AI tools that are easy and free to use for you. So let's dive into it. Okay, great. So first things first is of course we start in mid journey like always. I prepared some prompts for it that you will see now. So let's start like always, you know, just create a new channel here. Of course, type in slash imagine like always. And then we start with our first prompt that we want to use. And in this case, um, I will just paste it in here. Is it a fish swarm swimming in the Great Barrier Reef during daytime? Uh, I will add to those the, um, that it's a cinematic still. So you can just, what is really handy in it, you can just add uh, like uh, the atmosphere that you want to have. So we say cinematic still, because it should look cinematic. Then uh, also that we would like to have caustics in it and uh, also cinematic lighting. So that we just get a cool look like we would have in a cinema or something. So um, yeah, that we have a nice look. Of course, we will add my personal two favorite tags that I always use is the minus my star raw, of course, and minus AR 16 to nine for the aspect ratio, then we will just send it and see what we get. By the way, maybe you see it already. I have a turbo mode activated here. I will, I can show you now in a second how to do that because with this mode, you will get much faster results in mid journey. See, we have now the first images generated here. Just let me show you really quick how you can do it. You just go to slash settings, like where you also set the the Magellan is version six version and uh, the latest one. And then what you can do is you just change it from, um, for example, for relax mode, you can then change it to turbo mode. Yeah, cool. So let's get back to it. Um, as you can see, we got some nice images already. Um, I think for now the tones are quite even and I would like maybe to have a bit more variation into it. So what I do also most of the times is maybe just regenerate the prompt and see what we get. Okay, so I think this is looking already a bit better. I really like this one here where we have, you know, here a bit of color shifts and so on. Also some nice caustics that are coming down from the from the water. Um, in case you doesn't know what caustics are, it's just uh, the sun rays that are shining onto the water and then casting those sun god rays lights. Um, and you see the caustics that are then here reflected onto the ground. So cool. Yeah, so um, we will just upscale this one. This will be our first image that we can use then for our short. So as a next one, what we will do now is uh, also slash create imagine and then just type in our new one, paste it in. So this time it's a detailed image of anemone fish or clownfish. You can also write clownfish, it doesn't matter. Uh, swimming in the Great Barrier Reef during daytime. And then uh, of course, again, cinematic still, we want caustics in it, cinematic lighting. And for this one, we will also use the minus minus S ref. And what we can do now, which is really cool because we want to keep it more consistent so that they're blending into it, the shots. So we will just drag this image that we just upscaled here into the text field. And then now we just need to take care that we have here space in between, but this looks good. So, uh, you know, just make sure that here there's a space in uh, some space between it. Otherwise it will error. And then what we can do now is just press enter again. And yeah, great. Now, so now we are back, we see, okay, cool. We have, uh, you know, some colors adapted from what we had before, which is really nice. You know, it blends nicely in and we see, okay, we have this anemone fish in front. Maybe it's even still too far away. So I want to try one more time without the S ref, if we then maybe get even closer to it. Okay, and here we go. And we uh, almost uh, already see, okay, sometimes, which is also new to me. So <laughs> it seems like when you use the S ref and it's a bit more far away, you don't get as close as you want if you want to have a close up. So you see the fish here is much more in the uh, front and we really were looking just for this. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Let's make maybe variations out of this one just to see what we get. Okay, great. And uh, yeah, I think maybe we can work with one of those ones for sure. 
So um, I will just choose now this one because I also quite like it. Or maybe maybe let's choose this one uh, because then it will float like this, which is cool. And we also have the close up here. Yeah, great. And now we have our first dudes uh, gathered. Of course, you will need now to save them so that you have them ready for the next tool that we will use. So we will now all save them, open, always click on them and then go to open in browser uh, for full resolution and then just right click and then save the image and then you can save it to the folder of your choice. When we actually saved all our images to the folder, we can now jump to the next website, like our next AI tool, where we will now do the upscaling step. Because most of the images that we see um, uh, from mid-journey are in a good resolution, but still not in the best resolution. And we can enhance them quite well with Crea AI again, which I also showed in another video if you haven't checked it out yet. So once we are on the Crea website, we also put the link for this into the description and um, yeah, from there we can then go here now and uh, click here on the top to enhance and then we see already we can here drag and drop an image so now we just navigate actually to our folder where we have our images inside so you just drag and drop into it just select one of the images you can now also see here on the side our preview image now we can also open the settings tab and then see, okay, what settings we get here. Um, we already see also the, um, the prompt, which um, uh, so it reads it um, auto automatically, which is really cool when you have another image. Uh, otherwise, we can then set the AI strength, the resemblance and clarity, but we don't really need that. We can just go with the default settings for most of them. So we will just to do it like this and just select it two times because from the four times on, we then have to get the pro version, but we want to keep it free. So 2K is more than enough. So we do it then just click on enhance and then it's starting and we have to wait a bit. Okay, great. And now we are back and um, we can directly swipe and see what we, what we get. So we instantly see that our fish get way more detail than before. And also look at the corals, for example, it's a huge difference in terms of details, like here it's more blurred. And then you see we're getting more uh, more detail, but it's keeping also the depth level. And um, yeah, it looks just overall much better. Also the detail in the water, it's uh, crazy, like what kind of great detail we now get into it. And it's making the image much more popping and more um, yeah, nicer to look at. And um, to save this image, we just have to go right click and then, oh, not open a new tab, of course. So just go here and then uh, just click download and then save it to your folder again or go to the download folder. Um, yeah, uh, basically the same step we will now do for all the other images as well. And then I will show you the next AI tool, which we will use to animate our images. Just to show you really quick, also now on the close up, it's crazy like the detail we see on the fish. It's so great, like uh, what we had before and what now. And it's, um, yeah, and the best thing is that you can use it for free, uh, like Magnific, you have to pay instantly. But here, Crea gives you really nice options for free, which is amazing. Like, uh, there's so much detail and photorealism in it. So this is uh, really great for a short film or yeah, just uh, to achieve photorealism. Okay, great. And now we're coming to our last and final step. So now we open Haper AI. And it's really cool because right now this tool is also completely free to use. It could change in the future, but for now they're offering it for free. So um, yeah, feel free to use it. It's really nice. Uh, I use it for a lot of things. And in my test, I was really blown away by the results. So what you can do is uh, you can also click here, try for free. Then you have to sign up. I did this already, so I'm signed in at the moment. And then I can go into, um, yeah, uh, into the homepage. You already see like really nice results that people got with it, which is really cool. Just uh, all from still images. So we want to go to animate your image in HD. Uh, so this is what we want to do. We click on here, but we can also go to our creation tab. We have everything you see. I did some tests before for our uh, 
short short trailer uh, that we saw in the beginning of the video. So now what we want to do is of course first upload our image and then I would just open one of them. Then it will load quite fast and then we see okay this is our clownfish just in the midground more or less and then which is really important actually you can't just send it like this. Uh, HEPA uh, ne needs a description for the video so it can play on this. It's like giving a comment to an animator or like saying okay uh, how the fish should uh, swim, which makes totally sense. So we would just write something like uh, the clownfish, um, or let's say a clownfish swimming uh, in the Great Barrier Reef. And let's say the sunlight beams and maybe also and corals are moving. Let's also copy this for the other ones and then just see, okay, we have here the option if it should be public or not, that it uh, it should be shown in the explore page. So yeah, you can change this. And then as well, uh, you can say here a seed phrase, but we don't need it for now. This is just uh, for other images if we want to have the same style here. But for now, let's take for four seconds and then just hit create and then you have to wait a bit. All right, so our uh, first video is done and ready. Let's see what we got. Okay, cool. So we see already there are some fish moving in the background. We have some corals here moving. Here, um, the clownfish, he's just floating around at the moment. Maybe I will change this later. But for now, I think it's quite cool that he is uh, still, uh, yeah, like the hero character here in this shot. And we can have a look at him. And um, yeah, we see like everything is moving a bit and also in the background and which is really nice. You see the sun rays um, moving now, which is super cool. I think because it gives this nice uh, atmosphere uh, in the image, which is super nice. So um, actually we will now also drag in the other ones. So I would just paste it in here again, um, but saying um, a lot of fishes and then uh, maybe um, swimming forward in the Great Barrier Reef, sunlight beams and corals are moving. So we'll, let's send this again, make sure again for seconds, great. We'll do the same now for the other ones as well. All right, awesome. And these are now our end results. So let's see what we got from all the videos. So here's the next one and we already see this is super cool like uh, fish are moving now on the left side. We have everything moving. We have sunlight beams. So this is really impressive. Of course, we have here a little bit of like texture flickering on the ground. But I think uh, in general, it's a really nice image and uh, it's really sets the mood and everything. So and then our close up as well looks super nice, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, looks super, super nice and I'm happy with the result for sure. And I think this will be super cool when we put it all together in the end. And then also here we see, uh, okay, we have now our last shot. Here it wasn't super successful, but I think it still has something. Uh, maybe I will regenerate this one, but otherwise I think it's super nice. And now we are coming to our last and final step putting it all together. I really hope you guys liked this video. Let me know how you like the output and if it worked for you guys in the comments and try it out yourself. And I'm really curious like with what you are coming up in the end and how it will look like. In case you have liked this video, I would really appreciate if you could give this video a like and share it so I can keep doing what I'm doing. See you the next time and have fun with the final video.